Hey, it's Neha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making gato cravat. First thing that we're starting off with is a simple syrup. So one cup of sugar and one cup of water. So let this just mix together. The trick is to dissolve all the sugar. As you can see here, the sugar dissolved and we'll just keep this aside and work on our batter. So this batter is super simple. All you need is one cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and half a cup of warm water. And now turn this into a dough. If you feel like the dough was a little too sticky, just add in one tablespoon of flour. After you knead the dough like this, just cover it up and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Once the dough's been rested for about 30 minutes, just cut it in half. Just put some flour on your working station and then we'll just roll it out. So try to make it as long as you can and narrow as you can. So we're going to remove this little bit, set it aside, and this one as well. And now just make little stripes, as straight as you can. Once you've cut it, just flatten it out a little bit more. Pull it apart. And then make half. So just cut it in half. And now the trick is you do two lines to make it like a kavat, like a bow tie almost. So you take this, bring it in in one of the little slits that we made. And then you take this end and do it on the other slit. And then, give it a minute. <laughs> and there's your little bow tie. So again, and one, and the second, and there you go. And if you want to be super perfect with it, go ahead and make them like very uniform, or you can just let it all have different characters and unique shapes. So here I have my workstation. I have the gato kavat, the dough, I have some hot oil in a pot and I have a plate with paper towels. So take your dough and put it in the hot oil. So once it's Golden, we can remove it from the oil. And remember, because it's such a hot oil that once we remove the gato cava from there, it will still cook on this paper towel. So you don't want it to be too dark when you're removing it from the oil. Once we remove the gato cavat from the oil, let it rest for about 10 minutes or so. We just want to Cool everything down. So now just take your gato cavat, put it in with the syrup, we'll let it soak for about 10 minutes. Once we've removed it from the syrup, we just have to let it dry for a little bit. So we'll wait for about 10 to 15 minutes again. And then that's what actually creates that nice crunchy sound when you break it. So this is it. This is my recipe on gato cavat or bow tie cake, bow tie treat. <laughs> so if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and don't forget to hit that bell notification for my newest videos. Thank you so much for watching.